Today we are going to talk about ophthalmia neonatorum. First of all, what is it? It is the bilateral inflammation of the conjunctiva occurring in an infant less than 30 days old. It can occur during the birth or after the birth of the newborn or even before birth rarely. It can occur before birth through infected amniotic fluid. During birth from infected birth canal after birth during first bath soiled clothes or fingers with infected lochia among these during birth is the most common mode of infection let's look at the causative agents chemical conjunctivitis is caused by the antibiotics which are used as prophylaxis into the eyes of the baby immediately after birth to prevent bacterial and chlamydial ophthalmia neonatorum it occurs within 2 days and does not require any treatment as it is self limiting Along with chemical causes there can be bacterial and viral causes. The chemical one occurs within 2 days of birth. Under bacteria gonococcal infections can occur within 2 to 7 days whereas chlamydia trachomatis which is cause cause of a neonatal inclusion conjunctivitis can occur from 7 to 21 days. So overall bacteria uh, need 2 to 21 days. Herpes simplex infection occurs after more than 21 days. This may vary in different books. Let's look at the signs and symptoms. There will be pain and tenderness in the eyeball. Gonococcal cause will lead to purulent discharge and other bacterial causes will lead to mucopurulent discharge. Conjunctiva is present on the posterior surface of eyelids. So eyelids will be swollen. and the conjunctiva will show hyperemia and chemosis herpes simplex infection is rare but when it is caused it causes periocular vesicles and may involve the cornea leading to corneal ulceration or superficial punctate keratitis now coming to the treatment chemical ophthalmia neonatorum does not require any treatment as it is self limiting In gonococcal we know there is purulent discharge so to remove the discharge we will do saline lavage hourly till the discharge is eliminated also we will give bacitracin eye ointment that was the topical therapy for systemic therapy we will give ceftriaxone or cefotaxim by iv for other bacteria we may use broad spectrum drops in ointments For neonatal inclusion conjunctivitis caused by chlamydia trachomatis erythromycin should be given as ointment topically and also systemically herpes simplex conjunctivitis is self limiting but should be controlled with antiviral drugs to prevent the disease mother should be treated of genital infections when suspected there should be aseptic deliveries newborn eye care and after the delivery povidone iodine solution can be used or antibiotics can be used